when I was moving to New Zealand, I had this thought, which I actually look back and it was actually the Lord, but it was basically this, this little phrase that said, everything you need is in the church. I ended up finishing university, ended up going, I had a girlfriend, she had been in New Zealand, she, then she moved to Canada. I thought, oh, I'm gonna follow her over there. And um, we ended up getting engaged. I just basically cut ties with everyone in my life. <laughs> it was pretty weird, but, and then I ended up thinking like, oh, this is gonna like, this is gonna be wonderful. Um, and basically it just fell apart. The whole thing just fell apart. I remember being completely just lost and miserable. I don't think I could have gotten more low. And I was basically alone in Canada for like a, you know, months. After that, I started to actually make sense of what, what of, of the Lord a little bit more and what it is to actually have faith and what is prayer and all these sorts of things. I was learning a whole bunch and all this sort of stuff and reading some really intense books and I still read today. But like a lot of that stuff was like driven by fear. I was like looking for massive certainty. I didn't know who I was. I was looking for something that I could like probably control a little bit more. Regardless of how like confused I was and stuff, there was something where I, I really genuinely believed that Jesus was the truth. But I couldn't reconcile all these like seeming, like these apparent contradictions or things I thought were contradictions. You know, just God exists, that's one. But then if he does exist, then why do these things happen? And then you've got all these conflicts that are happening in the church with different um, theological positions. And how do you reconcile them all to know what the truth is? And I found that like super difficult. Like being able to arrive at something that I truly believe was true. So I was living in Melbourne and I was miserable. <laughs> and I was like, I had no friends. I was like, I was like living off by myself with this guy I don't think really liked me that much. And um, I was just reading intense books, but like super lonely. And I ended up coming back to New Zealand for like a weekend or something like this. And I remember visiting a friend who was living at the Mount. I came to Mosaic. And I remember like hearing Joel speak. It was just, he just seemed so real. And I was just needing that so much, yeah. I remember when I actually first started like doing camera and I was like, I actually had this high. Like I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Cause like Curate, I'd, it was the only church I'd ever been a part of. Like I was super cynical at church. Then like helping out, I was just like, this is exactly what I want to do. I think it's actually changed my life in more ways than I probably realized stuff started happening in my life like I I started to understand the gospel I started to make sense to me and actually know how to relate to God and faith and to actually how does transformation actually happen like I was just gritting your teeth and just bearing it and so I didn't look at the like what was before me as like a challenge I was like this is awesome I get to actually be transformed by faith it wasn't like the process of life just teaching me things I could actually be transformed by interacting with God and loving him so yeah, I think Curate's been, it has been um, everything that I first heard that um, when I first came to, from, from Melbourne, which is like everything I need is in the church. I fully believe that's true. And, and it's more true than I probably realize. It's like the wisdom that I've received from like Joel and, and everyone at Curate and being part of a small group. All those little things that on the surface don't feel like they're actually adding much have absolutely transformed my life and just helped me to see what's really true, yeah.